Kevin Pollock's on the phone with us this morning here at the queue. He's in town to perform at Caroline's through Sunday. Welcome. I we we have special weather just for you, <laughs> Kevin. I uh, brought this in from Los Angeles, as hard as that is to believe. <laughs> well, we know that uh, Los Angelinos. Is that what you're called? Boy, I hope not. Uh, Los Angelinos. I mean, what would no. be, uh, what, well, do you, what, what do you, you call called? yourselves? I'm from San Francisco. I hate the L.A. scumbags. Oh, that's right. San <laughs> oh, Franciscans. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. You, you still live in San Francisco? Uh, no, sadly, I did have to move to Smell-A. Yeah, because, you, Smell -A. because you, that's where the work is. As it turns out. Yeah. Because I remember in, in 1989, remember, Shelley, I went to San Francisco for two weeks? I do. And could not believe the cultural divide between San mm -hmm. Franciscans and mm -hmm. those who live in Southern California. This hate is like uh, Yankee and Mets fans. And it's worse. It's like uh, Giant and Patriot fans and Yankee and Red You're Sox right. fans. It really is. And, and there's a real reason for that. San Franciscans are just smarter, better looking, better educated, more fun to be around. Well, aren't you sweet? <laughs> Where Southern California. Fake. Fake. Plastic. Air, airheads. Silicone. Yeah. Is that pretty much sum up the view? Brilliantly and succinctly. Uh, however, you chose to make your living living in the land of the bubble heads. Indeed. Well, because they had so much money to hand out. <laughs> I mean, I mean work. And, <laughs> and you managed to grab a nice, significant chunk of all that money. I'm, well, I mean, you've well, appeared in more than fifty films. And who's counting? Well, fifty-four. Fifty-four. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Just pick the number. <laughs> um, I'm sure it's more like fifty-eight. Okay, 58. Well, a few of them. Are the, good. The, the usual suspects, a few good men, casino, grumpy old men, grumpier old men. I can't believe you got to work with those people. I can't either, quite frankly, nor could I when I was on the set. Um, it was very surreal because, you know, I did start out as a stand-up comedian. I had no formal training. I basically had no business being in these movies, and here I was. Um, and Casino with Scorsese and De Niro was just insane. I still don't get it. I'm more than happy to make fun of it on stage and uh, here on on, uh, on your show when it's possible because it's, to me, literally, to this day, still ridiculous. And they keep giving you these jobs. You're on a TV series. Hey, uh, yeah, I am sort of recurring on uh, pal uh, Jimmy Woods, crazy Jimmy Woods, I like to call him, his show Shark. Yeah, you're, you're Los Angeles District Attorney Lloyd Cutler, so you get to play the L.A. D.A., yeah, that's pretty sweet. Actually, one of my best friends since I'm nine is uh, was DA for about 17 years in Fresno, California, and so uh, I'm leaning heavily on his experiences. And um, yeah, you know, it really is uh, the fun part of that job is that that role they asked me to play is the only one on Shark, the, the only character who gets to give Jimmy Woods' character grief. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and bust his chops. So that was kind of a lure for me. And you started your own uh, production company, uh, Red Bird Cinema. And there's a reason why it's called Red Bird. Mm -hmm. And that's because of your partner. Yeah, there's three of us, and one of the partners is Tony La Russa. Uh, and, um, hence the Red Bird. Mm. Hence the Red Bird, yeah, like St. Louis Cardinals. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A book came out uh, about a year and a half ago called Three Nights in August, and it was written by a Pulitzer Prize-winning journalist, Buzz Bissinger, who um, took the sports world by storm about 10 years ago when he came out with his uh, book Friday Night Life, uh, which, of course, became the movie and, and the, the TV, TV series. series. But uh, originally the book itself is still considered one of the best sports books ever written. This guy's really a, a tremendous, a journalist and writer and in fact um we just got the life rights to sugar ray leonard and buzz is working on the screenplay now with sugar and that's something people have been after for about 20 years and so i don't can't even explain how we got it but it, it worked out that way he was finally ready to tell his story i think is the real reason well there seem to be a lot of things you can't explain you can't explain how you got the rights to uh, sugar ray leonard's life you can't explain how you got to be in movies with all of these accomplished artists you you can't explain how you became a very successful film and television and stage personality you just can't explain any of it uh nor uh, you know talking to you now I think that, all, that also ranks. It's up there. 
That also ranks in my personal X file. <laughs> well, Caroline's on Broadway, of course, it's a great place uh, to go, and it's a great place for a snowy night. After dealing with, uh, you know, after dealing with all of this weather today, you'll want to go and have some fun. And uh, headlining at Caroline's through Sunday is Kevin Pollack. And uh, we have a pair of tickets to see Kevin at Caroline's for you, and you can pick the night. Callers 25 and 26 will win at one i have seen Kevin at Caroline's. It's really a great evening. Bring somebody along with you that you love to share fun experiences with because you're going to have a great time. And that's the truth, Kevin. Well, thank you very much for that. And you know what? I can't explain that part. I've been at it a very, very long time. And I do love uh, doing stand-up. It was my first love. And, and uh, the crowds in New York are always great. I always look forward to coming back here, uh, especially at Caroline's. And, uh, and you know, I appreciate your support, for hell's sake. <laughs> well, I'm glad you took the time to get up early. I know you're working late, but to get up early and call us this morning. And have a great time while you're here in New York, and we'll talk to you again soon, okay? All right, thanks again. Be well. Okay, 822 here at Q1043.